Detective Vu. And Jenny Lee Clue, Detective Vu. I'm, I'm looking forward to this too, because I got really into it when I covered it last month. So what happened was last month, um, for those of you who don't know, last month I played Jenny LeClue and um, myself and the viewers found out that it was kind of like a Halloween game. So I have decided, or rather we all voted to move it to this month to play more of it. And possibly, hopefully, finish it off. I would like to actually finish this one off. So I am I am going to be continuing from the game that we started last month. We didn't get, if I remember correctly, we didn't get too, too far into it. So we're still kind of at the beginning of the game. Um, but I did put on Jenny's uh, Halloween costume. But if you are interested in Jenny LeClue Detective Luke, it is available on PC, and you can get that uh, high for October being the best month of the year. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, you can get this for nineteen ninety nine on PC, and you can pick this up through, I believe it's Humble Bundle and Steam, and then it's twenty four ninety nine for the Nintendo Switch. So, let us go ahead <clears throat> and excuse me for that. And play more of Jenny LeClude Detective Vu. And as you can see, she is she is dressed to impress in her Halloween gear. So there is that. I think I may need to turn down the TV set though. Yep, gonna have to turn down the TV set. But as Long Play has posted into the chat, there's the link for games of the week. Um, and it shows you pretty much all the games I have covered this week, um, and the games I still have to cover, as well as what platforms they're available on, where you can purchase them, and how much they cost, so. But let us continue. Okay, as nothing happens. <laughs> like, my controller literally died. Um, let me see. It could also be... Let's turn off the game and reselect because it could be that the control, you know, like it kind of got stuck. There we go. Hopefully it works now. <laughs> yeah, the controller is like, thank you for the bits. Let's set. There we go. Thank you. I appreciate the biddies. Okay, so she wasn't really dead. That would be silly. No, Jenny was alive and well and ready for another perfect day in Arthurton. Oh, look, she's wearing a uh, skeleton costume. That's cool. Okay, so B to run, A to interact. Noise. What the? Yeah. <gasps> what a mess. I should investigate. Yes, let's investigate. Okay, I have to remember. Nothing there. Ah. Yeah. And this was the reason Jenny why had an instinct for sorting treasure from trash. Mm. To the untrained eye, this was just a discarded piece of an old postcard. But to Jenny, it was a mystery waiting to be solved. I should keep my eyes open for any other pieces. The case of the puzzling postcard. And that was why we had um, decided, or the community had decided that we would um, move the game to October to play more of. Because the of the was fact. Awash with flyers, personal ads, and the occasional piece of gum. I'm amazed anyone can find anything on here. 
Fortunately, Jenny had a useful trick to use in a situation like this. Mom always says, a great detective eliminates the noise. Focus on the details, and you'll find clarity in the chaos. Mm. Okay. Mr. Killing with Gloria. Monthly meet us, Stargazer Society, Tech Blister Sale, Pop Up Party Project this Thursday, Miss a Cat Answers to Trevor. I wonder if anyone else reads this junk. Hold on. What's this? Curfew. Stay safe, oh, stay no. indoors. It extended curfew hours again. 9 p.m. to sunrise? That's ridiculous. But necessary. Power yes. outages had become a regular occurrence in town. This is also it was on PC. to be wandering around after dark. It won't be long before we need a permit to go out at all. Yep, it is available on PC, and you can pick it up on um, Steam, and I think Humble Bundle is the other one that's doing it. So basically, stay indoors. Curfew. Stay safe. Stay indoors. 9 p.m. to sunrise. Please pardon our mess while we improve your power grid. During this period, you may experience the minor inconvenience of daily blackouts. Okay. <laughs> it's actually, um, supposedly it's supposed to come out, um... Aww. Well, I'm glad, I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. Oh, what's this? And supposedly this was supposed to come to PS4. I'm not sure if it's on there now, though. Hey, you! Oh, hi there. What are you doing Gardner. back there? Well, Gardner. I was pruning, but then I discovered this cerulean bugberry bush. Oh. Discovered? These bushes are all over, Arthurton. Actually, this is an incredibly rare bloom. There's nothing rare about Arthurton. Mm -hmm. I beg to differ. Arthurton has many beautiful and exotic plants. Ah, oh, okay. So you are... We're going to say we're interested. Really? Like what? Mushrooms with eyes that glow in the dark. Mm. Berries that emit a bioluminescent mist. And flowers with nectar as sticky as super glue. Really? Yeah. yeah. I've never seen any of those things. Well, believe me, they do exist. <laughs> I've had the pleasure of seeing them up close. That's one of the privileges of working for Dean Strousberry in his greenhouse. Ah. Oh. Anyway, I should get back to work. I want everything to be perfect for the Dean's retirement celebration. Okay, so if we our journal was updated. Nope. Okay, so it just kind of like updated from the stuff that we found out. Okay. So nothing that way, so now we're gonna head this way. Nothing there. Or should we, um... Like, I wonder if there's anything on this board. It's not anything there, so, okay. We could probably exit out of that. And then I'm looking for pieces of paper as well, keeping an eye out for them. Oh, are they higher now? Because I know the new cards, they dropped and everybody was like, picking them up. Oh. Signs and decorations adorned the entire campus. A party to celebrate the Dean's impending retirement. Nothing there. Talk to the workman. Left. Left. I said left, damn it! What part of left are you having trouble with? My left or your left? 
my left. Obviously, I mean my left. Why would I mean your left? So you want me to move it the other way? Yes. Nothing would make me happier. If you're not careful, we're gonna have bronze brains all over the floor. They seem... busy. I should probably lead them to it. All right, they're like, oh, let's leave it to it. Okay, so I'm gonna keep running. I was gonna say that too, and welcome, Draconic. Welcome to the stream. Hello, Mr. Strasbury. How are you today? A jolly gentleman. The <laughs> dean was often Santa seen Claus. shaking hands and kissing babies around town. He's also mom's boss. But more than that, he was her loyal friend. What do you think, Jenny? Oh. The Dean had dedicated his life to Gumbold, and the townspeople had spared no expense in their tribute to him. Quite a striking resemblance, Mr. Strasbury. It's a scary thing, Jenny. Retirement. Oh, great excuse for a party, though. <laughs> what will you do when you're no longer He does the dean? love like Santa. I've been trying not to think about it. This place won't be the same without you. Things change, Jenny. Time marches on, and we must do our best to adapt. It's going to be difficult, but I'm sure we will get through it. What do you mean, we? Do you think they made my belly too big? <laughs> no. Be nice. It's probably just a perspective, Mr. Strasbury. <laughs> you are a clever one, Jenny LeClue. <laughs> Be nice. Speaking of which, have you been practicing your detective skills? I have. Have I? Of course. Always. <laughs> well then, I have a challenge for you. I like challenges. I bet you can't guess what I ate for breakfast. At last, a real challenge for Jenny. <laughs> a fiendishly difficult puzzle that would take all her wits to solve. Well, okay. Anything for you, Mr. Strasbury. Oh, how wonderful. But first, I need to ask you a few questions. <laughs> right. I'm hoping that um, they'll go down and pray. So, there's... Oh. No, I keep hitting the wrong button because I'm used to Y being at the top, but it's not. It's... Because it looks like that's some jelly stain on his shirt. Ah, oh, I did it again. <laughs> oh, man. Is this phone not a clue? I guess not. Ah. Looks like he accidentally put a spoon in his pocket instead of his pen. Right. It's got a coffee stain on it. So he had some coffee. No, oh, sweet seeds, texture, and odor equals fruit. It's jam. The dean didn't button his shirt properly. It looks like a blood stain, but the seeds indicate otherwise. <laughs> yeah! What is this? For the Dean, being covered in plant life was not unusual. Okay. His work as a botanist was renowned. Looks like you're carrying some extra baggage today, Mr. Strasbury. Well, I do have a lot on my mind. <laughs> I was referring to your legs. Oh, thank you. I have been doing my daily calisthenics. <laughs> no, I, I mean the sticky stuff on your pants. What? Oh! Hitchhikers. I've been working on a new Oh, I should have checked his bow tie. House. I just saw his bow tie. They're beautiful. But the leaves are quite <laughs> Jenny over here tasting his butt is right. Say, I am looking forward to spending more time in the dirt. Sounds about right. Okay. So we found that. Could this be a clue? This 
watch is slow. That's unlike the Dean. He's usually very punctual. <sighs> Your watch is 45 minutes slow. Is it? Oh my. That explains why there was no cheesecake left in the cafeteria. Uh. <laughs> my head's not screwed on today. Thank goodness you noticed, or I'd be late for my meeting with your mother. Oh, really? She didn't mention anything to me. Right. Oh, well, I'm thinking this given all the days. It's nothing important. Why are you meeting then? It's just, your business. Um, she's helping me finalize my, my plans for, uh... Your party? Yes, that's it. My retirement party. Thank you. Uh -huh. Mr. Strasbury? Nope. Of course. He's being very now nervous. Let me just fix my watch before I forget. <laughs> I think we still have to check him now, out though. Where were we? Okay, so we did that. We did that. I thought it was something on his bow tie. It looks like it. It can't be dandruff. He has no hair. I have a, a jelly donut, donut maybe and coffee. Sugar. Nothing there. The Dean was a big fan of the Gumball Moonbeams. And not He's just got because his tiny feet. He does, he team. got tiny well, feet. A bench warmer anyway. Okay, let's see. We'll check his ring too, because the ring has to be a clue. Shiny gumb. Gumboat logo class ring baby club of fraternity. Potestas est. Looks like Latin. Your ring sure looks old. <laughs> it was made for my grandfather. He passed it down to my father, who passed it down to me. And when the time comes, I'll pass it on to my son. The Strausberry family had been champions of education for generations. Mm. What does the inscription mean? Knowledge itself is power. Ah. The inquisitive He's got a is a mighty thing. <laughs> right. Nothing is as important as the truth. I want to say I noticed that this is different from that, but he does. He has tiny feet. See if I'm missing anything. A thick bundle of note cards perked okay. out of the Dean's pocket. What's he keeping so close to his chest? You've been making a lot of notes, Mr. Strasbury. Oh, I was intending to make a speech on Saturday. Uh. Why have you scratched out so much of it? Your mother suggested I keep it short, and quite right, too. I must have rewritten it 20 times by now. I just can't seem to find the right words. So, what do you think, Jenny? Can you guess what I had for breakfast? Yes, sure, Mr. Strasbury. I've got everything I need to solve this mystery. I think he had a jelly donut with coffee. That's what I think. What did the Dean eat for breakfast? Okay. Jam on his shirt and powdered sugar on his tie. The evidence points strongly to the Dean's breakfast consisting of one, <laughs> maybe two donuts. Powdered, powdered jelly? I would say a powdered jelly donut. What else can I tell about the Dean's morning? Um. This, this, and then this. Make deduction. Nope. That's okay. what I meant. Let me try that again. Okay. Maybe this? The Dean had neglected to wind his pocket watch. Mm. The act of a distracted yep. man. 
This resulted in his whole routine being thrown off. <laughs> Which might explain wow. why he has a spoon in his pocket instead of a pen. We solved it. <laughs> you had a donut for breakfast. Yes? I'm guessing... Strawberry. <laughs> How did you know? That part was easy. You always have donuts for breakfast. Mm. But something else caught my attention. Oh? I think you have something on your mind, Mr. Strawberry. You are usually a picture of precision and punctuality. But today, there's a spoon in your pocket and your shirt button is undone. My, my. You really are a LeClue. Mm -hmm. Your father would be so proud. Aw. Thanks. Well, I should be going. I'm meeting your son by the lake. <laughs> and I'm meeting your mother in the library. What a small world this is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Indeed. A perfectly small world with everything in its right place. Who would want to change that? Pardon? <laughs> Nothing. See you on Saturday. Well, yes. Until we meet again, Jenny LeClue. All right. I didn't see any other little pieces of paper. Oh, telephone ring. Da, da, da. Well, that's not creepy at all. Yeah, it's In not. In a short time as a detective, Jenny had learned never to ignore a ringing phone. Answer the phone. Hello? The dog barks loudest before the dawn. What? CJ, is that you? The dog barks loudest before the dawn. Really? This again? It's me, Jenny. We don't need to do this. I have no idea who you are, and I know no one by that name. <laughs> the dog barks loudest before the dawn. <laughs> right, it's like Fine. a public cell phone. Yep. The early bird can't catch the lazy worm. Good. The wind blows strongly from the east. People in glass houses should invest in curtains. Excellent. The evening sky is full of fireflies. <laughs> I like goldfish. The absent-minded goldfish swims into the blender. Ah! Jenny, it is you! Of course it is! I need to meet with you right away. Okay. Where do you want to meet? This place will do. Doc Brown? <laughs> Nani? <laughs> Everyone in town knew that CJ was mad, even dangerous. He's not dangerous. He just doesn't accept things at face value. Sure, <laughs> he's a bit fixated on extraterrestrials, but at least he's passionate about something. CJ and Jenny certainly indulged each other's obsessions. But most of all, CJ treated Jenny like a colleague. And not a little kid. CJ, why did we go through all that if you're right here? <laughs> right. Can't be too careful. Can't be too careful. Are you sure you weren't followed? Who would be following me? Shh. This place is compromised. We don't have long to talk. Now, what did you want to talk to me about? What? You called me. Did I? Why? Talking to CJ was a bit like navigating a maze. You had a rough idea of where you were headed, but you couldn't be sure you'd ever get there. I'll help you figure it out. Is it your birthday, CJ? Birthday? Whose birthday? Kynes its birthday. But Kynes had died on his birthday. Assassination? Possibly. Abduction? Almost certainly. CJ, wow. The card? <laughs> oh, this. It's for you. Impossible oh. shot. Died instantly. No suspects. 
No, human suspects, anyway. Oh, my goodness. Thanks, CJ. That's, uh, thoughtful. <laughs> Happy birthday. You Sorry about your dad. I know what it's like to lose something important to you. Now, triple shred and incinerate that card as soon as possible. It's got my fingerprints all over it. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay, I get they probably want me to use Y to search for that clue. What's that sticking out of your sock? <laughs> ah! That's what I wanted to talk to you about. I intercepted a secret message. Classified intel. It's proof, Jenny. It's happening again. It's time for us to join the fight. Oh, no. This doesn't look like the kind of pamphlet he usually makes. It's been professionally printed. Could CJ finally be on to something? <laughs> okay. Flip it. Oh, it's just part of a cereal box. A cereal box from another space-time continuum? <laughs> just a regular cereal box. It's an ad for a toy. But why? Why would it just be lying there in the trash? Why not? I'm sorry, CJ. There are still great mysteries out there to solve, but this isn't one of them. Jenny had uncovered why <laughs> CJ had. He's <laughs> rising. He does remind me of Doc Brown. her eye. Something else caught her eye. Okay. I keep doing that because I'm so used to playing with the, uh... Oh, a compass. I knew he was hiding something. A compass with strange symbols where the cardinal direction should be. Looks broken. Where did you get that compass? Ah, you spotted it. I knew you would. It belonged to my father. He left it to me to find the truth. You're not going to find anything with that. The needle is wandering all over the place. A bit like you. It's searching. For what? For them. <laughs> it's this town, Jenny. It's Arthur. They're here, among us. And this proves it. Who's the imposter? It could just be broken. Could be. I guess we'll never know. So what's the plan now? Library. Research. Very important. Very hush-hush. They let you back in? <laughs> Not yet. But I've got this hat now. It wasn't your head that needed covering. No, for disguise. I know, CJ. <laughs> what is it this time? More UFOs? Radio wave mind control? A globally connected communication network used exclusively to view pictures of cats? Jenny, you sound crazy. I'm just preparing my defense for the hearing. Is that <laughs> because you tried to hypnotize Mrs. Brown's prize poodle? No. That was last week. <laughs> it's because I peed in the water tower. What? CJ, that's gross. It is. And this is the thanks I get for saving everyone from the mind control chemicals. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I'll see you later then. But CJ was gone. CJ, mm. I know you're standing behind the phone booth. I just watched you walk over there. <laughs> no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Okay, then. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> CJ's funny. That was funny. Okay. Hey. Ah. Damn. That's the third time today. Oops. Hi, Jenny. Great job solving that case today. It's really cute the way that you and your mom work together. I wish I was that close with my parents. Enough chit chat. <gasps> Got anything new for me? Oh, yes. This is the real deal, hot off the press. I haven't had a chance to distribute these yet, so keep them to yourself. Ada and Jenny belonged to one of the oldest societies in Arthurton. An eclectic band of treasure hunters, collectors, creators, and dealers. 
Together, they were known as Sticker Club. Oh, okay. For generations, Gumbolt students had been hiding and finding stickers all over town. Officially, Jenny was too young to join. But she okay. found so many stickers on her own that they'd made her an honorary member. Let's see. Nice crisp edges, rich colors, very tacky. Thanks. I spent all week making these. If only you spend as much time in your schoolwork, you might not be failing my mom's class. Uh, Jenny thought to herself. It's to celebrate the Dean's retirement. I'm super sad that he's leaving, but... It's a perfect reason to make new stickers. Exactly. Oh, we're going on an epic sticker hunt before the Dean's party. You should join us. Even if Jenny had wanted to join them. And I don't. She knew she'd be stuck with her cousin all weekend. Thanks, but I work alone. Oh. Okay. Oh. See you around, Jenny. Oh, look, the balloons are back. That's amazing. Lake Nowhere, one mile. Uh, we're gonna leave because we're supposed to meet the uh, mayor's son. So we'll do that scene and then Stop. we will probably. Oh, okay. Perfect. Hold no, it's right not. There. Okay. Let her go. That is not perfect. Oh, dear. That was ominous. It really was. Detective for Hire. Jenny had saved up the whole summer to place an ad in the local paper, but no one had answered it. Until now. What could this new case be? Her imagination ran wild, picturing the possibilities. And so, after helping her mom at Gumbolt College, she hurried to the pier at Lake Nowhere to rendezvous with her new client and crack another thrilling case. Yay, I'm Eunice. <laughs> So we'll see what the case is, and then um, we will probably end stream there after we talk to the sun. Uh, but fear not, I am bringing this back on next week, Tuesday, to play more. So we will play more of this next Tuesday. There's Jenny near the edge of the woods. She heard a sudden strange sound. <gasps> what the? Hey, kid. Watch where you're going. Hey, screw you! Your wrench nearly cracked my head open! That's not nice. Oh no! It's not damaged, is it? <clears throat> That's my lucky wrench. Yeah, lucky it didn't kill me. When's this upgrade gonna be finished anyway? Look, kid, I just go where they tell me. Every night, another power surge. Every morning, another part of the grid fry. And I'm out here fixing it. Do I get any thanks? No. What's causing all the outages? At the moment, a little red-headed girl. Uh. Now throw me my wrench, kid. I mean, because she's trying to meet her. Fish to fry. Yeah, she's trying to meet her client, so just, you know. Thanks, kid. Oh, wait. That popped up, so it must be something here that I can find. Oh, pick it up. You got another piece of the scrap. So now we know um, when we see that to pay attention. As Jenny stepped out of the dark forest, she saw warm sunlight reflecting off the cool lake. And next to that, something even cooler. <laughs> Keith Stroudsbury. <laughs> Come on, Keith. Dance like you beat it. <laughs> Not so much grinding. <laughs> oh, Keith, what are you doing? Not everyone saw it, but to Jenny, there was something special about Keith. He's just happy being himself. Nothing seemed to bother him. Not even having to dance in a costume for a dollar an hour. 
But Jenny wow. is not so laid back. Not when it comes to standing up for a friend. Especially her only friend. I think there's been enough dancing for one day, don't you? Hey, Jenny. Hello. Susan. <laughs> Actually, I prefer Susie. Busy laughing while others earn a living, Susan? Not everyone's got your dad's money, I guess. Ooh. Snap! Hey, Jenny, hi! <laughs> <laughs> Tall and handsome, with intense, mysterious eyes. Cool should have been his middle name instead of Tarquin. But Keith was so cool, he didn't even mind. Give me one minute. I'm just finishing my... Sure. Don't let me interrupt your work. My shift ends... In 15 minutes, I know. I'm early. I'm meeting a client over at the dock. Paid case. Could be big. Real big. Couldn't be as big as her head. <gasps> <laughs> oh! Wow. That's really... Impressive? Maybe. All I care about is keeping this town crime-free. The only crime here is that haircut. <gasps> <laughs> I'm being good! Back in a minute, Keith. I'll have the usual. Six sugars, a splash of milk, and a dash of cinnamon. You got it. How about now? I mean, that was kind of rude. What's he doing out there? Not now, kid. We're busy. Any butter? No. Keep going. No. Yes, it's working. Hold it right there. That's what all the fuss is about. Not this guy again. What is that? Whatever it is, he's not my music. Maybe it's jazz. Shh. He <laughs> said, maybe it's Jesh. I'm the DJ. I'm in charge. When's this party getting started, boys? Oh, uh, just a few more minutes. Uh, how are we supposed to dance to this? I think we're losing them. Another station must be interfering with the signal. But there aren't any other stations in Arthurtown. Wait, all these wires must be acting as a giant antenna. Jenny listened closely to the mysterious transmission. It was like no other radio broadcast she'd heard before. Hold it steady! Sorry, I'm trying! That's just getting worse. You might as well come down. No, wait! I can almost make out what they're saying. But just like that, the sound faded away. What did you do? That's no use. Come on. We gotta get this equipment back to the AV department by six. Jenny was so lost in contemplation, she'd almost forgotten the case at hand. Mm. My client. I'm supposed to meet her at the dock. Alright, let's keep going. Great Danger. Side. No swimming. Sounds safe. Why would I want to? I don't know. Something tells hmm. me. How do I get this ladder down? Shake it. Mm, still stuck. Kick it. A ladder that doesn't ladder. Well, it looks like it's missing some parts anyway. Talk to Dan. Aha! Gotcha this time, you slippery fella! Ah, oh, shucks. Just another boot. <clears throat> Excuse me, Mr. Humdrum. Oh my! If it isn't little Jenny LeClue! <laughs> what a glorious day, don't you think? As far as Jenny was concerned, small talk was like a second pair of underpants. Uncomfortable and completely unnecessary. But Mom always says... Create a good rapport, and they'll reveal everything to you. So, she gave it a shot. Talk about fishing. How's the fishing? Oh, the fishing's great. But the catching is bad. 
All I'm getting are old boots and strange bits of metal. Huh. But just look out there, Jenny. She's got that wonderful afternoon glow. No one knew why the lake glowed at night, and few were brave enough to swim its murky waters. What lay beneath its depths was the stuff of myth and legend. Huh. Somewhere out there lies the giant red herring, or so they say. But no one's ever caught one. Sounds fishy to me. Well, if she's out there, I'll catch her. Someday. Great. Well, now that we have a good rapport, where can I find Mrs. Humdrum? <laughs> well, she's down there on the ridge. Only one problem. I think the ladder is broken. Ah, yes. There's a knack to it. First you shake it, then you kick it, and then you push it. Sounds okay. unnecessarily complicated. I'll so shake it, it kick it, bit. push it. Just have to sort my tackle out. And we already did the first two, so... Shake it. Kick it. <laughs> yeah. Push it. <laughs> Shake it. <laughs> Kick it. Push it. <laughs> Aha. That did the trick. All right. So we will talk to her, see what the case is, and then probably wrap up stream there. Mrs. Humdrum, I presume? Oh, hello. Uh, you? I'm the private detective you contacted. Uh. The code word is Purple Panda. I'm here to solve your case. Who is it, Dan? It's Jenny, dear, the LeClue girl. She doesn't see so well without her glasses. Oh, hello, Jenny. I'm afraid I don't see so well without my glasses. <laughs> nothing wrong with her hearing, though. What did she say? I said there's nothing wrong with your hearing, dear. Oh, no, thank you. I've already eaten. Uh. <laughs> I believe you have a case for me? We do. We, we do. Great. So what's the trouble? Haunted by the ghost of a former lover? Worried you're being poisoned by a mad uncle? What? Something so dark and gruesome I can't even begin to imagine the horror? Well, I've lost my reading glasses. Oh. oh. And there it was. A real case. A confounding mystery to challenge Jenny's brilliant mind. <sighs> I thought this was finally going to be a good one. What do you think, Jenny? Can you help? Sure, Mr. Humdrum. I'm going to need to ask you a few questions. <laughs> carry a pair of binoculars she doesn't go anywhere without them mm. I presume you don't wear your glasses when you use the binoculars no I can't get my eyes close enough to the eye cups hmm I see I've never been interrogated before this is such fun <laughs> okay there's that Cause it looks like it's like something for like an eye. Yeah, okay. Jenny had often snuck through the hole in the fence at Grubman's to watch the races. She could understand why the dogs ran so hard. They were chasing the promise of food. What the adults were chasing was less relatable. I notice you're a gambler, Mrs. Humdrum. You've been at the Greyhound races. That was yesterday. We always go to Grubman's on Wednesday. Uh. Did you take your binoculars with you? Of course. Those little critters are so far away. I can't keep up without my binoculars. Interesting. Maybe you she really left are there. very good. The best. How long have you been solving mysteries? But I'll ask the questions, thank you. Oh, she is rude. <laughs> like... She also has tiny feet. They all wear the same pants, too, which is interesting. I 
don't know why that would I be a clue. I expect you're but... finding it difficult to paint without your glasses. Oh no, I never wear them when I paint. I like to feel the canvas. Uh. To interpret the colors. She's an incredible painter. You should have her paint you. Thanks, but I don't mix business with pleasure. What's next? Fingerprints? Oh, polygraph test? What? Like you're reading my mind. How many? We got six more. Looks freshly blow dried. A professional job. Your hair looks lovely today, Mrs. Humdrum. Is that a new uh, style? Thank you. I had it done yesterday. Dan didn't notice. Uh oh. Dan, you better notice. Call it the Queen's Quad. Better notice. Well, it's certainly big. And expensive. But I'm worth it, Dan. <laughs> Who could put a price on that beautiful head of hair? Better you notice the hair. Stuff. Aw, gross. Have you figured it out yet? No. The suspense is killing me. There's like two more clues left. Oh, what's this? Right, no, but what's this little guy over here? Oh, that's just a sticker. Okay, let me try this again. Look like, look like it's her pain over here. Okay, I was like, hole. it's something over here. Caught it on something. Did you have trouble climbing down the ladder, Mrs. Humdrum? Why, yes, I did. How on earth did you know? There's a tear in your pants pocket. Well, what do you know? I didn't realize these pants even had pockets. I feel like you know more about me than I do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Then, if you can't find it, looks like they have a. Because I'm looking and I don't. I could always just try to do it with the clothes that I have. Oh, okay. Apparently, this scene are stolen recent. Jenny recognized the distinctive indentations left behind by a pair okay. of spectacles. She must have been wearing them recently. You still have marks from your glasses on the bridge of your nose. You probably lost them within the last day or two. Oh, I never would have thought of that. When do you last remember wearing them? I'm really not sure. Damn? You had them at your Tuesday book club. Oh, yes. 
We're reading Fifty Shady Graves. <laughs> you are so thorough. Any more questions? I think I have everything I need to wrap this one up. Where are Gail's glasses? There's a big hole in her pocket, but Gail didn't even know her pants had pockets. So it's unlikely that she would keep her glasses in them. Okay. Maybe the haircut? Betty slip? No. Or wait, maybe this? Let me see. Yeah, doesn't make sense. Mm, that doesn't seem right. was at the races last night. Okay. She had to remove her glasses to use the binoculars. Gail also had her hair cut recently. It's fluffy and big and could easily hide a small object. So her glasses are in her hair? <laughs> like... Solving a complex mystery like the case of the missing glasses was tough work. But now came the most satisfying part. Delivering the dramatic denouement. Let's review the facts. One, not only do you love your binoculars, you've come to depend on them for bird watching, greyhound watching, basically anything far away watching. That's true. I immediately sensed the two optical devices, your binoculars and glasses, were incompatible. Thus, to use one, you had to remove the other. Fascinating. Uh, fact two. Yesterday, you changed your hairstyle. I did. Though fun, it was also impractical. And so tall that it could easily conceal a small object. I see where this is going. Please, don't interrupt. Uh. After much research, deliberation, and debate, I've concluded there is only one place the missing glasses could be. They'd be on your head the whole time. Oh, so <gasps> they are. Right there on top of my head. Dun -dun. Incredible. What a talent. They're always in the last place you look, aren't they? A master detective in the making. What would we have done without you? Did I find your glasses? Like it's... Gail, don't forget to pay the girl. Oh, of course, silly me. You must be rewarded generously for all your hard work. Did she just give her a, a, what? Now don't spend it all in one place. <laughs> Thanks. I'll do my best. All right. So we will stop the gameplay there. We will stop the gameplay there for Jenny. And again, this is Jenny LeClue Detective Vu. It is available on PC through Steam. And I believe Humble Bundle might be the other place. Let me check. Uh, no, GOG. I'm sorry. So it's Steam and GOG that has this. And this is available on PC, Mac OS, and Linux for $19.99 USD. And then the Nintendo Switch also has it for $24.99 USD. So if you like what you saw, Jenny Leclerc Detective, be sure to pick it up. Um, I will be picking this game back up on Tuesday. I would like to hopefully try to finish it uh, next week, Tuesday. So, but overall, yeah, I, I really like... Um, the game and where it's going and I'm glad we did um, change it to have it be played today or during uh, the October so but this will be picked up next week um, 
next week, Tuesday, I will be playing this, so. And I'd like to thank everyone for tuning into tonight's stream. Tonight we played Boris in the Dark Survival.